Hi, this is Peter from Sempad, the ad tool for agencies. Today I'm going to talk about single keyword ad groups, what they are, and some best practices surrounding them. Now, single keyword ad groups have become kind of a buzzword in the industry recently, and you may also see them known by the acronym SKAG, S-K-A-G. And what it is in essence is trying to group keywords incredibly tightly so you just have one core keyword in each ad group so that you can finely tune ad copy for them. And I'll show you what I mean here. So if we expand a campaign, hop into here, as you most likely already know, a campaign is divided into different ad groups. And these ad groups then contain keywords and ads. Now the basic premise here is that you would create an ad group which contains just a single keyword but you do end up with a few keywords in and I'll show how that works. So let's look at PPC algorithms where we're promoting some of our bidding algorithms for Sempad. So when you look within the PPC algorithms ad group, you'll notice that there's really just one single keyword here, which is PPC algorithm. Quite often when you are setting up these campaigns, you will want to include multiple match types. As each match type it does behave differently, you're targeting a slightly different sort of intent with the search often. Uh, so you will want to include a broad match modifier, a phrase match, and an exact match. And that's totally up to your personal preference. You may find that for your terms, a broad match modifier is just too broad and it's reaching the wrong audience. But this is the typical setup when people are speaking about uh, single keyword ad groups. So that is essentially how a single keyword ad group works. Now best practices, over time you will look at your search terms report and you may see that there's, I'll broaden the time horizon here a little bit. You may find in the search terms report that you're getting a lot of search traffic for PPC bid algorithm as we've seen here. Now what the, the best practice would be, since our keywords are PPC algorithm and not PPC bid algorithm, what you would do is you would create a new ad group called PPC bid algorithm. And you would then follow the same process with a broad match modifier, a phrase match, and an exact match. And you would also likely want to include a negative keyword for PPC bid algorithm, just to ensure that any traffic relevant to those terms is being sent to the new ad group as opposed to this broader uh, previous ad group. Now the one other element other than keywords is your ads. So if you click in here, the ideal setup with the single keyword ad group and the reason that it is so effective is that you're able to hyper customize your ads in order to match that keyword. So you'll see our keyword was PPC algorithm. So essentially every single ad will include that PPC algorithms text. We'll include it in the display URL, in the headline. In this case here, it, it didn't really make sense to include it into the ad text as well, but you could absolutely include it in the copy and, and quite often I will in other situations. It helps you to optimize the ad copy for your keywords, which in turn will help improve your click-through rates and down the line, as you know, an improved click-through rate will also mean improved quality scores. And your quality scores will also benefit from having the ad copy so hyper-customized um, for those keywords. I hope this video has helped. If you're interested in more online advertising tips and tricks, please subscribe or feel free to ask any questions in the comments section. If you happen to manage online ads for an agency or as a freelancer, I strongly recommend you have a look at sempat.com. It's an ad reporting and optimization platform for Google, Bing, Facebook, and more with dashboards, bidding algorithms, weekly suggestions, and other tools to make your life easier. Visit sempad.com for a free trial and start saving time today.